would know I don't need a microphone generally uh, for those of you that don't know me and I didn't know Scott that long but he made a big mark on on me as well as all of you here and I'm just impressed with uh, the stories of, of his life that uh, I didn't know until uh, more recently. Uh, and it's a real honor for me to be here with each of you uh, to remember Scott. And I just think it's really fitting today to remember uh, his uh, quiet but fierce voice as he lived his life every single day by standing up today as activists and demanding change. United together to make a big difference for our fellow Iowans, for every man, woman, and child in our country. You know, Scott obviously did not live a middle of the life road. He didn't buy into politicians' excuses for what was realistic. He spoke out and stood up for what was right and for what we needed to do together to make our society a more fair, more just, and more equal society. So I'm honored to be here with you today to help remember Scott. But I'm also angry. I'm pissed off. And I've been pissed off as a registered nurse for a long time. Uh, because Scott is one of many who have gone before him. I'm angry that we are here to continue Scott's work and his legacy without him. Because our for-profit healthcare system has failed him and so many like him in the worst way. I'm angry that Scott and many other Americans are dying every day in this country because we treat comprehensive quality health care as a privilege for the wealthy and a luxury for the few. And we treat it that way instead of treating it as a basic human right. And I'm angry by a health care system in this country that puts profits over people every single time. We should all be angry. In his final days, Scott wrote so powerfully that we've heard about, about our, how our current health system doesn't work and the tragic options that it left him. The bottom line is that under our current system is that the insurance company accountants are making the decisions about how they save money instead of patients making decisions with their doctors and nurses about how to save lives. Under our current private health insurance system, about the worst thing you can do is get sick. Or even worse, have a serious chronic illness or disease like Scott. I'm an ICU nurse. I've seen how families have struggled to keep a loved one in the hospital because they can't pay a bill. I've seen patients end up in much worse condition because they couldn't afford a medication or they didn't have insurance to go see their doctor. We're the richest, most powerful country on earth. We have the best hospitals, the best technology, the best trained, trained medical professionals. But we have one of the worst systems in the industrialized world for providing health care to our people. You know, as a union nurse and a leader of union health care workers, I've been working on reforming health care for decades. Obamacare was a good first step, and we have to keep fighting to protect it. But it was only a step. Even under Obamacare, more than 28 million Americans still don't have any health insurance coverage at all. 28 million. And many more millions are underinsured or can't get the care they need when they need it. Because of exclusions and the coverage that they have, they can't get the treatments they need to live more productive lives without pain. They can't get life-saving medical procedures. They need to survive like Scott. The problem isn't that we don't have the technology, the expertise, or the facilities, or the money. The problem is that we put insurance pharmaceutical company profits ahead of patients. We all know that. Our system simply doesn't work for millions of American families. When it comes to saving people's lives, we can't just tinker around the edges. We have to stand up for bold, progressive solutions. We need Medicare for all. We need a health care system that counts everybody in and leaves no one out. I'm working to build public support, just, just like Pete is. 
public support for Medicare for All in my campaign, and I'll keep working to build that movement in every county of this state if I'm giving, given the honor to serve as Iowa's next governor. And I hope politicians like Pete will do the right thing we know in D.C. and make Medicare for All the law of the land. Yes. But if they don't, we can build and work a movement here and make universal single-payer health care in our state and Iowa can lead the way. Yeah. Yeah. Now, shortly before Scott died, he wrote that Medicare for All was the most important legislation he had ever seen. He believed that Medicare for All would save lives. It didn't happen in time to save his life, but it is up to those of us who are here today to remain on the fight, to rise up together, to demand that our nation does the right thing, that America and Iowa live up to Scott's bold, progressive vision of who we can be. Pass Medicare for all now. Thank you, Scott, for everything you've done, and thank you all for what you will do.